Hello everyone. So welcome back to the new lab session of Microsoft Excel. So in this lab, we'll try to solve one problem. And you could see and you probably guess what should be the question. So here you have a set of students. They have appeared for exam. And these are the marks they have got. Now the question is what? If I write any name here belongs to this column, I want to get the total mark obtained by that particular student. So if I go manually, suppose if I want to know what is the total mark obtained by Sanjay. So what is the manual process that is from this column, first I have to check this column in this column from top to bottom I have to go and search where the Sanjay present or the name Sanjay present so wherever we find so related to that row we have to pick out the mark from this cell so suppose if I want to calculate the total mark obtained by Sanjay manually I go to this selected rows or sorry selected columns and from top to bottom I search this name that is I get Sanjay here so related to this row I pick out the mark that is 79 let's say if I'm writing 79 here now again I go down I search the name Sanjay again so related to this row I pick out the mark from this column that is 93 similarly again I go down and wherever I found Sanjay I pick out related to this row I pick out the mark from this column so it is 98 now if I want to s get the total I simply use this function some function I get the answer as 270 so this it could be a problem if the number of subjects increases or the number of students are increasing because it's a long process to check each row and each column to get the student and related marks manually and this is we have done for one student and there are suppose hundred of students are there it could be a long process and time taking also so to solve this problem Microsoft Excel is providing a special function named as sum if sum if okay so let's see the use of sum if so if I write here okay so let me make it a white background so that you could see let the four color should be red so if I'm writing here sum if okay the color is white I think let me make it red okay just a minute okay let me make it black or let's say red for the time being now this border I have already discussed in the lab so let this is optional one so let's come to the point if I write here sum if and if I start the bracket so let me first finish it what should be the uh, argumentary text then I will explain it so first argument is the range so I have to select this cells these are the cells then I have to press F4 then put a comma then criteria means what name I should where should I write the name so I will write the name in this cell that is J4 okay let me press F4 again then I press comma again now this is the sum brain that means from this from which column you want to calculate the total sum so these are the cells now press F4 again and close the bracket and press enter so in its initially it is showing 0 because we have not put any name here now you see if I enter Sanjay here Sanjay and if I press enter I will get the same result like this 